So, how will you find the relationship between the aerial velocity and angular momentum? For that, let us consider an a coordinate axis, x and y axis. Let there is a particle at the point A. Let, let R be the position vector of that point or position vector of that particle. Let us represent that as R. And after some time, T, let the particle change its position from A to a new point B and let the new position vector be R plus delta R. That is, since it covered a displacement of delta R, since position vector is a, is a vector, you must put the vector head. Delta R be the displacement of the particle, that is the part the displacement from A to B, the new position will be R plus delta R. Clear? If this is the point O, let us consider this triangle. Consider, consider triangle OAB. And the area of the triangle, the area of the triangle, area of the triangle OAB, let, let's represent that as delta A. Since we consider area as a vector, you have to put the vector here. Area of any area, area of any triangle is the cross product, half the cross product of its adjacent sides. That is 1 by 2 times R cross delta R. That is the expression for area. Now you know, if V is the velocity of the particle, it moved from A to B, let V B be its velocity, then we have velocity is equal to displacement by time, delta R divided by delta T, where T is the time taken by the body to move from A to B. Then you have delta R equal to, substituting in here, we have half R cross, this delta R will be delta R is equal to V times delta T, right? So, V delta T. Also, you know, the momentum of the particle P will be mass times velocity. Implies velocity will be momentum divided by mass. So, here you can substitute delta A is equal to half R cross instead of V, you can write P by M, P by M delta T. Clear. You can take this delta T to the left, so it will become delta A by delta T is equal to 1 by 2, you can take this M also outside to M r cross p and you know the angular momentum is the is the is this r cross p position vector into position of the particle into linear velocity gives the angular velocity l so our final expression will be final expression will be delta a by delta t delta A by delta T is equal to 1 by 2 M L or L by 2 L. So, this is the relationship between relationship between aerial velocity and angular momentum. This is the aerial velocity. Aerial velocity. Aerial velocity is equal to 1 by 2 into mass of the particle into this one angular momentum. Clear? So, this is the relationship between angular momentum and aerial velocity.